Hi dear valued customer of Ratchet Meter, this video is made to guide you on operation and make measurements to identify radioactive contamination RAC in your product. Nucleonix Systems is a well reputed company engaged in design and manufacturing radiation measuring instrumentation. Nucleonix Systems has developed wide range of equipment to measure radioactive contamination in metals to help the exporters of steel industry in India and globally. Ratchet meter is an important handheld, portable instrument developed to measure radioactive contamination. It is used to measure radioactive contamination in bars, bullets, rods, engineering components and castings manufactured by metal industry. It basically measures radioactive contamination by indicating dose rate in micro rontgen per hour and nano civets per hour. At this point of time we would like to demonstrate operation and measurement of radioactive contamination using Ratchek meter. Front panel controls and indications. This is an alphanumeric display used to provide visual display of all the parameters. Intelligent keypad consists of program button to operate instrument in different modes. Start and stop button is used to stop and start acquiring the data. Increment and decrement is used to change one option to another option. There are two models in Ratchek meter. One is external detector with probe. The other one is designed with built-in detector. Some important features of this unit are 1. Microcontroller based design. 2. Compact elegant and light in weight. 3. User can store up to 1000 readings. 4. Detects gamma and x-ray radiation. 5. Measures dose rate from 0.1 micro to 10,000 micro -rontgen. 6. Data transfer from machine to PC through USB. Operating procedure. The machine is given to you in ready to use condition. You can switch on and press start button for measuring. Going to the interface of the Radcheck meter, press stop button and then press PROG button. In the ACQ mode, you can select different modes of operation like dose rate mode, preset time, counts per minute CPM, counts per second CPS. Label option. This option allows a user to give code numbers to different locations when making measurements. Time constant. It is used for how many seconds the machine starts detecting samples. We can set to 4 seconds, 8 seconds, 12 seconds. Unit. We can change the measuring units depending upon our requirement. Units are micro rontgen per hour and nano sieverts per hour. Password to recalibration. This is only used for factory purpose, but not for the user. The buzzer allows the user to provide audio and visual alarms. Data readings. All the readings stored can be recalled using this option. It shows time, date, label, and the readings stored. Alarms allows the user to hear the audio-visual alarms above the alarm set point. Erase memory. It is used to erase the readings or memory stored in the machine. Real-time clock. It is the visual display of the standard time in hours, minutes, date, and month. Alarm level is used to keep the set point to turn on alarm about the set point. BG level is used to display the natural background when the unit is powered on. Save PROG, it is used to save the changes that you made upon your requirement. Type of steel or metal components that are measured for radioactive contamination and also choosing the measuring points. 1. Bars or billets, we have to choose along the length 4 to 5 points for measurement. 2. Castings, we have to choose multiple points all around the casting depending on its size. 3. Smaller components such as small bolts, nuts, nails, wire pieces of different gauges, take 3 to 4 kgs in a plastic pouch for measurement. Now let us talk on how to use instrument for measurement. Place the instrument detector front fascia, touching the component metal part closely to its surface. Measuring units can be in nano civets, globally, and micro rontian. In India, the method of identifying the radioactive contamination is evolved by nucleonics systems, based on the number of case studies done on the export rejected components or samples. For measuring the natural background, please ensure to keep the detector 1 meter from the ground and 4 to 5 meters away from the scrap, for about 20 seconds, then the background appears. 
criteria for measurement of radioactive contamination. When we make the radioactive contamination measurement, there are three inferences that we have to come to conclusion. 1. Clean sample. When we touch the sample with the instrument detector or probe, if the reading goes lower than 10% to 12%, or more than the background reading, then the sample is clean. 2. Suspected contamination. If the reading falls slightly below 8%, then it is a suspected case. These samples can be sent to Nucleonics for ascertaining the contamination. At Nucleonics, we test your sample by radioanalytical method. By acquiring the spectra using multi-channel analyzer, this gives the spectra of the contaminated isotope and its qualification is also done in terms of becquerel Elpogram. 3. Sure contamination. If the meter reading remains same, or above the natural background, then it is a sure contamination. Do's and do nots. 1. Do not remove the detector cable from machine in on condition. 2. Hold the detector to the sample closely for maintaining the better accuracy. 3. Do not touch the electronic components as it leads to high shocks. 4. For better understanding please replay this video, or go through the user manual. We hope that this information will guide you for better understanding on the, the measurements using our ad check meter. Please send your valuable feedback to share any information. For calibration services or purchasing our instruments, contact us by phone call or email. Thank you.